secret. <laughs> and that ain't much. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. For the day my earth stood still and my world turned and I had the great pleasure of working with you until we meet again. He starred in Bob's 1979 motion picture, Star Trek, which led to co-writing and directing two, producing one, and starring in the first six Star Trek movies, Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> When, when Paramount set out to make the first Star Trek movie, they reached out for Bob Wise to direct. And when Bob came on board, he discovered that Paramount had, been success, had successfully rounded up all of the original Star Trek cast except me. Seems that I had a little difficulty with the studio at the time that had to be ironed out. And Bob, in his very gentlemanly way, laid down a very quiet ultimatum to the studio. He said something like, to make Star Trek the motion picture without Mr. Spock, not wise. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> as a result of that stand that he took, I was given this great opportunity to work in, in, and enjoy the work in several Star Trek movies, but particularly the great opportunity to work with an artist, uh, a wonderful craftsman, and an incredible gentleman. Live long and prosper. when we go to good movies, the sort of movies being made by my younger colleagues, directors such as Jim Cameron, John Sayles, Martin Scorsese, Steven Spielberg, Oliver Stone, amongst others. Their work gives us all hope for the future of our profession. Now, just because this is a Lifetime Achievement Award, I don't mean to take a lifetime delivering this speech, <laughs> so I'll, I'll think I'll wrap it up now. On behalf of that young man from Indiana, I'd like to say, Klaatu Barada Nikto, which roughly translated tonight means thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.